blah, 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 blah. Oof. You know what this bunny could go for right now? You know what I could go for? I could go for a nice tall cup of hot cocoa. My goodness. Ooh. It is cold. It is chilly. My goodness. Take my money. Okay, you don't have to ask me twice. Thank you, I end up with you for the 200 biddies. <laughs> Thank you for the monies. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for the support. And hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everybody is all nice and warm and cozied up. It's so good to see you. My name is Lilith, the Sleepy Spectral Love Bunny. What's yours? It is good to see all of you guys today. How are we all doing? Hello, HB Pencil. Hello, hello. Hello, Cast Iron Whiskey. Hello, Dr. Karate. What up, Buckaroo Holiday? Hello, I and F with you. What's up, Jacob? What is up, everybody? What is up? What is up? Two streams in one day. What is this, a crossover episode? I know. Can you believe it? Can you guys believe I actually have the energy for this today? I mean, I don't really have a lot of energy today. I'm pretty tired. But I can't believe that I was able to guest on one stream earlier today and have my own right now. That's not something I often do. But it was a good time. Um, anybody who was um, at Kai Lazuli's stream earlier, we had a fun time over there. Thank you to everybody who joined in on the fun. Um, we didn't end up getting to play Mario Kart, unfortunately. The plan was initially to, uh, to play some community Mario Kart, but um, Kai was dealing with some tech issues, unfortunately. So um, we ended up changing gears a little bit. And me, Kai, and Cozy Chu all ended up watching videos about maid and butler cafes. <laughs> not just out of nowhere, not just out of nowhere did the maids and butlers give you energy. <laughs> they gave me something, I'll tell you that. A feeling that I've never felt before. But it was still a fun time, and I hope everybody that joined us ended up um, enjoying what we what we did. It was really it was very cozy. Um, I really like Kai and Cozy a lot. They're very sweet. They've always been very nice to me, and it was nice to be able to to spend some time with them, be able to do some some collab related things. Because I said in this year I wanted to do more collab stuff. So uh, yeah, thank you, Kai, for having me on. Frozen pizza? No. It's never, a, winter or summer, it's never a good time for frozen pizza. And I'm cold, I don't want to have anything frozen. And even when I warm it up, it's not going to satisfy me. That was quite a peculiar stream. Peculiar in the best way, and it didn't come out of nowhere. It's because in December, Kai was doing this challenge. I guess it was like a, a maid-based challenge where, um, whenever he streamed, he, he was doing like, like cosplay maid streams. Um, and he, I think, yeah, I think he got a maid outfit that his, his viewers got for him. And, um, he also got a PNG where he was in a maid costume. And he was, it, it, and on his Twitter, it still says that he's celebrating maid Sember. And, <laughs> and in his, his little PNG, he was still wearing the maid costume. So I was just like, well, I, why don't, why don't you continue on into maiduary? And Cozy agreed with me. Because she has taste in class. <laughs> and Kai, Kai wasn't buying it. But I thought that being able to... I, I thought that saying that if we dressed up as butlers, it might convince him a little more. But it's going to take a little bit more pushing. But we're working on him. Got a moe moe cune ahead of him. I learned a lot of things during the stream. I learned a lot. I learned what the moe moe cune was. I mean, I think I knew what it was before because... um. I guess it was something in Kobayashi Dragon Maid. But, um, yeah, so I learned about the Moe Moe Kun. I learned a lot about maid cafes. I learned a lot about butler cafes. And it also, I don't know, it gave me some fun ideas for streams. Because I know that Kai did a stream where he did, like, a maid cosplay. And I've been thinking about cosplay a lot lately. And I, I used to do it a lot back when I was, like... Back when I was a teen, back when I was in high school, I would go to cons and cosplay, meetups and cosplay. And it was always fun. And I, I haven't done it in so, so long. I can't remember the last time I ever did the cosplay, but I miss it. And after finishing the game Raincoat, I was like, oh, I have these characters I want to dress up as. And maybe it would be cute if one day I did, did, did a stream where I did like a cosplay stream. I mean, I'd have to get another webcam for it. I would need to set up a second one. I don't even know how that would work. <laughs> 
because um, I, I stream VTube Studio from my webcam on my computer and not from my phone. Um, yeah, so I'd have to figure that out, but I thought that could be a fun idea for like a, like a cosplay stream sometime and also the idea of like dressing up in a butler costume for a stream sometime. <laughs> because I've been, I don't know, lately I've just been wanting to dress up like, like boy characters and like a boy. Sometimes I get in these weird phases. It's like I, I know I know in my heart that that I am I am a woman. I am definitely a woman. However, sometimes I wanna cross dress. <laughs> I'm sure there are others like me. And I'm having one of those phases now where I'm like, I wanna dress up as boy characters and I wanna dress up as a butler. And I wanna be <laughs> I, I wanna I wanna cross dress. <laughs> Boy Lilith mode. Lilith Madoka cosplay. Oh, a Madoka cosplay would be so cute. I mean, I did talk about how um how I want to do more sub goals this year. So maybe I could do sub goals for cosplay streams. That could be a fun idea where it's like, oh, we reach this many subs. I get, I buy a cosplay and I wear it on stream. I would still have to figure out the logistics of all of it. I think if I would do a, like a face cam stream, I, I would probably wear a mask just for my own, my own comfort. <laughs> um, maybe I'd get like some kind of backdrop so you guys don't have to see my messy room. So there was, there's a lot that would have to go into it, but I feel like doing cosplay streams could be fun. It would help me get back into it. And it's like a way that I can cosplay and not have to like leave my room or anything and go out into the world where people are just staring at me. Why do I feel like boy Lilith will be Ash Ketchum? <laughs> You know, Cast Iron, whenever I've had to voice, um, there have been times in audiobooks before, and also auditions that I've gotten in the past, where they want me to do a little boy voice, like a younger boy. And I've always thought that I, I, that I didn't really have a good young boy voice. But people have told me that they liked it, and that it's good. And whenever I do a young boy voice, I feel like I do always go the Ash Ketchum route. I just, like, I always doubt myself because I already have a pretty girlish voice that I feel like it would be hard to do a boy. But people like it, so yeah, maybe Ash Ketchum could be another fun idea for a, a character. Butler Lilith when. Hello, Fluffy! Now! I need it now! I want I want to do a Butler Lilith cosplay, and I also really want to commission Butler Lilith art. Like, I really want a piece of art where I'm wearing a Butler costume. Wouldn't that be so cute? Like, let's be honest, I would make a really fucking cute boy. Like, I've thought about this, both both in my own human form and in my VTuber form. If I was a boy, I would be one fucking adorable boy. <laughs> this is my my Delulu kicking in, but I, I, I don't know. Sub goal for clean room. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess I'll clarify it. My room, it's not, it's not nasty, dirty. Like, I don't live in a complete depression cave. Like, I clean my room every week. I vacuum the floors and the rug, because, like, I have a cat. <laughs> So, you know, I, I kind of have to keep it clean so it doesn't smell like cat piss in here. Awe Alex, thank you so much for the tier one resub at 12 months. Thank you, thank you for sticking with me for a year. Hola, hola, gracias. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, I, I do clean it. It's more just that my room is small and there aren't a lot of places to put things. So like there's clutter in some areas and, and, and on my bed especially and I don't always fold my sheets every day. <laughs> I probably would if I were to have a stream like that, but it's like, you know, it's it's a it's not a big bedroom. <laughs> and so I would probably want to rearrange a few things or maybe get like a, a backdrop or a setup if I did like a face cam or, or cosplay stream. I believe in you. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, that's definitely something to think about doing co cosplay stream or Butler Lilith. Butler Lilith roleplay stream. Ooh, maybe for Lilith 2.0. If I ever, um, if I ever commission like a like a a new outfit for Lilith 2.0, I'm like, we gotta do the Butler outfit, and then I can have Butler. I can, <laughs> I can have Butler roleplay streams. <laughs> I mean, you guys always want me to do the mommy voice, so wouldn't you want to see a Butler Lilith roleplay stream? I realized I've had another switch in the house the whole time, so I'm gonna finally finish Raincoat. Yes! Do it, Jacob! Finish Raincoat! I finished it last night, and now I don't know what to do with my life. 
One of the characters I want to cosplay who's a boy is the main character in Ring Code, because I was really excited. It's a male character, but he's the same height as me, so I'm like, it would be perfect. Perfect short king represent cosplay. Boy Lilith would be a K-pop. Right? I would be so pretty. I would be such a pretty suave boy. I would probably, I'd develop like the impish boy personality, I think. Sebastian Butler or Oran High School Host Club host? Um, oh god. Maybe a little bit of both, because of course there has to be a little bit of darkness and crazy in me, like Sebastian. But also, like, when I was watching that, that Butler Cafe video with Kai and Cozy, I was just like, oh. These men, they're so attentive. <laughs> How could you ever go and look for a, for a potential partner after that, when it's like nobody can compare to my butler? They're gonna help me find my ring when I lose it. And then they're gonna lightly scold me, and they're gonna deliver my plates to me and pour my tea for me. Like, ugh. that's a hard question. I would be like, I would have the, the you know, the, the hospitality level of the Oran High School Host Club host, but the darkness of Sebastian. I have to be a little bit crazy. You need more wall nets for your plush dolls. I don't have enough space in my room for another wall net. And I'm also running out of space in the walnut that I already have for plushies. And it's bad because now that I've finished Rain Code, I want to get the Collector's Edition because it comes with a Shinigami plushie. And I'm like, Ugh. I have an addiction. It's not good. His name is Coco Melon. No! You leave my boy Yuma alone. He's not a Coco Melon. He just has the coconut head hair. Just like how Lilith is a pretty lady. Eee, ding! Thank you! Lilith is a pretty lady. But Lilith would be an even prettier boy, I think. <laughs> mashup, mashup! It's gotta happen. Yeah, we were also talking about, um... We were talking about how, how we want to commission art of, of me, Cozy, and Kai's maid cafe, maid in butler cafe. And Kai was like, who's gonna be the maid in this situation? And I'm like, you already know the answer to that question. Don't even try me. We're all gonna be cross-dressing in this house and we're all gonna like it, goddammit. <laughs> Why am I like this? I've been like this forever. I always get excited at the prospect of cross-dressing. <laughs> the ceiling. You're the second person to answer what's up like that. Somebody already said the sky and then somebody said the ceiling. We're all very clever, aren't we? Team Rocket rules for the costuming. Yes, exactly! Maybe that's why I have such a love for drag and cross-dressing, because of Team Rocket, because they're like, they're who I grew up watching. And sure, as a kid, maybe I thought they were a little annoying, but I also like, I don't know, they were funny and exciting, and I just, I, I loved that they, I, I never found myself questioning as a kid why Jesse was always wearing the suit and James was always wearing the dress. I was just kind of like, they're just wacky and that's just how they're gonna be. I don't think I've had a moment as a kid where I was like, why do they do that? And then I ended up continuing to love it into my adult years. I've been wanting to get super buff and cosplay as one of the Sailor Scouts from Sailor Moon. You should totally do that. I always love at conventions when I see like groups of super buff men dressed up as either like the Sailor Senshi or as like other magical girls. Deep down, we all want to be pretty like James. We all want to be pretty and we all want to be vain like James is. And that's the thing, James knows he's pretty. That That's also what really sold it to me, is the fact that, like, James knows he looks fucking good in a dress and a costume. Nobody is going to tell him he looks bad, or else he's going to read them to filth. <laughs> oh, you guys will have to tell me, um, if I, if I do end up doing, like, cosplay streams and made them a regular thing, you guys will have to tell me what other kind, what other characters I should cosplay as. Because I, I feel like it could be fun. It could be a way for me to get back into like a hobby and, and, and combat some social anxiety. And there are lots of VTubers who have done cosplay streams and have still managed to like, you know, not, not reveal too much of themselves, I guess. 
And it can, like, convince me to cosplay more at conventions, too. And I have a lot of friends that cosplay as well, and they really love it. And I always, I love seeing them in their cosplays. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. I'm sure there's lots of characters you guys would like to see me dressed up as. <laughs> Maybe I'll put Madoka down on the list, because Madoka could be really cute. Would I do Madoka in her school uniform? Or Madoka in, like, her... Ma Ma Monica. <laughs> Madoka in her, um... Like her, you know, her, her magical girl outfit. I mean, probably the magical girl outfit, I imagine. Now, I want to think of other characters. So, definitely Madoka. I want to do Yuma from Raincoat. I want to dress up as a butler. What other... There's definitely lots of other girls, too. Um, maybe characters from games I've played on stream before. Let me know how to help fund your cosplay and streaming ventures. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> maybe I'll put down some cosplay materials on Throne, too. Retsuko! Wait, Retsuko would be so cute! I'd love to do Retsuko. I thought about cosplaying, like, Cinema Roll in the past. But Retsuko would be adorable. That would be perfect. <laughs> because Retsuko is a young working woman like I. That would be so cute. Yeah, Retsuko, um... In that case, maybe even do Haru from Beastars. <laughs> Just see me dress up as all the furry characters. Or other bunny characters, too. Cult of the Lamb cosplay. Oh, that would be cute, too. You guys keep suggesting animals. <laughs> Does everybody want me to be a furry that bad? I mean, I get it. I get it. I do feel cute dressed up as a rabbit. I love how Kai was, was being like, well, why don't you guys dress up in the maid costume and see how you like it? And Cozy and I were like, we have. We already have. How can you call yourself a VTuber if you haven't dressed up as a maid before? And that's the thing. I'm like, I have no problem. Look, working at one of those cafes or like being a maid or a butler, it's like, I got no problem putting on the costume. I'll put on whatever. I love to dress up. I'll do it. It's more just the... It's, it's the part where I have to take people's orders and interact with them and bring their food to them and not get flustered. Like, like I don't work well in customer service. I've already figured that out about myself. I was a terrible receptionist. I mean, you set up the bun theme, just gotta run with it. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Batwoman cosplay, oh. Maybe a little too sexy. I'm also not very familiar with the Batman universe. Um, I'm trying to think of other, like, anime and, like, game characters that could be fun. Maybe, like, uh, Pokemon trainers. Um, different Pokemon could be cute. Other horror game characters. Could be Rosmarine from, um, Little Goody Two Shoes. That would be really cute. Maybe a character from Omori. I'd be terrible in a maid cafe as a customer because the whole time he'd be, I'd be like, you uh, you don't have to do the whole thing with me. <laughs> I feel like I would get flustered too. But there's something about those butler cafes that I'm just like, oh, I don't know. It's the, it's the hospitality and the way that they just kind of worship you, calling you like princess or... Uh, that would make me melt a little bit. And they're all just dressed so fancy, too. Basil. Oh, a Basil cosplay would be adorable. Basil would be perfect, too, because he's also kind of like a small, frail, scrappy boy. <laughs> That's very Lilith-sized, I think. I'd love to do Basil or, or maybe Aubrey would be cute, too. Like, grown-up Aubrey with the pink hair. <laughs> so many options. There have been so many times over the years I've seen characters and I'm just like, I want to cosplay them, and then I just haven't. I just haven't. But I did a lot of cosplay back in the day that was fun. I cosplayed a lot of Homestuck characters, which we don't really need to talk much about. I once cosplayed Wendy from Gravity Falls at Comic-Con. Um, my favorite was when I was uh, Kyoko Kirigiri from Danganronpa. That was really fun. I did that at, at Comic-Con one year, and um, it was like one of the prettiest I, prettiest times I ever felt. So yeah, I miss it. It's nice just like dressing up as somebody else for a day. Quezon style delinquent cosplay. Ooh, delinquent Lilith? I have thought about delinquent Lilith looks a lot. Like getting like a big jacket 
and like a baseball bat, some bubble gum or like a, a lollipop sucker or something. That would be cool as fuck. Cause I mean, I'm a bit impish, so I don't think it would be too far off. Like, like if Lilith were dropped into the apocalypse, I think she would fight. She would be good with a bat. I'd smash some mailboxes. I could do it. I don't think I would look as hot as Kason, but like I could try. Misty, Champ Cynthia. I've thought about Misty before. I once cosplayed, um, oh, who was the French one? Serena, I think. I cos oh, I did a cosplay for Serena in college one year because we had like a local convention happening and me and some friends did like our own little panel about cosplay. <laughs> that was a good time. Princess Daisy. Oh, that would be cute. She has red hair like me, so that would be easy. I would probably just have to tie it up or make it look short. Princess Daisy would be really cute. Or, I'm not tall enough to be Rosalina. I'd have to stick to the short characters. I feel like you'd be great as many of the Hermia girls. I still need to watch Hermia. The girls are all really cute in that, though. They're adorable. I love the art style for Hermia. Kirby cosplay, just a big costume. That's how I already look in real life. I already look look like Kirby. I'm just a little round ball with uh, with big feet and I just, uh, you know, I just womp womp around. I love Homestuck. Riska, no, I cosplayed, um, the Homestuck cosplays I, I, I wore were, I think, Rose and Terezi? The Libra Troll, yeah, her. <laughs> I loved Riska though. She was one of my favorites in Homestuck, but those were some times. Two friends of mine and I were once the Rowdy Rough Boys from the Powerpuff Girls. That was a fun one. Oh my god, which one were you, Jacob? I could totally picture that. That must have been that must have been a hoot and a holler. I want to see that. You'll have to send pictures if you have any. The blonde zombie from Zombieland Saga would be an amazing delinquent for you. I would certainly love to cosplay a delinquent character because they're just fun. They're fun. I love I love mischievous girls. I love when they're kind of bitchy and they don't have time for anybody's shit. Or when they're just a little bit tsundere. I just, I don't know. Everybody's had an intrusive thought to smash something with a bat. Like, you've never walked by, like, a store with a glass window that has, like, a bunch of watches and shit in it, and then you just think about, like, punching it and grabbing a bunch of the watches and, like, not stealing them, but just, like, standing in the middle of the store and going, Aah! Has anybody else ever felt, like, thought that before? Please don't tell me this is only me. I, I wouldn't actually do it. Sometimes you just have the thought to cause a little chaos. 